Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where I'm not too lazy playing video games. And uh, I, I checked a walkthrough really quick. Uh, we did do what we needed to do in the Arcane Tower. Like we got the Tongue of Madness. We got uh, a couple notes and stuff down here. Wonder if the gods are watching uh, me. So as far as I can tell, anyway, There's we nothing. have done what we need to do here. And that means we're wrapping up the Underdark because now we can go take these things to the guy. And to the, what you would call them? Oh my gosh, words. Um, the Mykonid, the guy in the Mykonids, the Illithid. It doesn't look like I can do anything else here past this. No, okay. Just making sure. My connect colony. Oh my goodness gracious! Ooh! I should have brought Gale for this part earlier, for talking to these guys. I think he would really like them. I just played some of this with one of my friends today, like on a different save file, obviously. Um, but, uh. Yeah. Um, words. We played it different. Also, I did end up finding that grave that we found. I don't know if you guys remember. There's a grave that we found that was like, I hope you enjoyed looking at the lake that you played in or whatever. It turns out that's actually a dog barrel, which actually made me cry because it's it's Myrna, I think, that we that we read about in the tower. And I, in, my, in this game, we found the grave first and then the tower about Myrna. And like, and then, um, but in my friend's game, like I already knew, right? So when we, when we found that, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the dog, you know? And I didn't say that out loud because she hasn't played it, but I was like, oh my gosh. And, uh, I cried a little bit, I cried a little bit because that was really sad. I don't know why, like, it was like, oh, when, it, when I thought it was like a small child, I was like, oh, that's like sad and poignant. But like I told you guys, very sad. I, I, I empathize greatly with Lenore and having to lose a close being, a singular individual and losing the only creature that like, what is it? Like, um, we had some rest like relies on you and loves you and like depends on you and is like what is the word I'm there's a word I'm trying to think of but like I can't think of it um just like just loves you just like only a dog can you know and like it's just like unconditional but it's of course there's conditions but like there kind of isn't like some for some dogs right they just they just want to love you and like it's not like a person spoken with it's, it's different in its own special little way but anyway yes she is I greatly her. empathize with her on that front. I have something to ask. I greet you, child of the You're dark. You're not here. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Uh, I found these mushrooms. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to bring I, them to proper potency. I want to be able to talk. Amelion turns away to prepare. Uh. The potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draught. I can make no promises as to its taste. I want to talk to the hobgoblin guy that Lenore is, like, missing. What is it gonna do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about it. I mean, origin. any information's good at this point, you know, I guess. Oh, no. I, probably it was a really high roll to try to read insight on an illithid. Sure, yeah, why not? The potion is disgusting yeah. beyond description. Oh, yes! The only mercy is that it goes down quickly. A, 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 one of the few constitution rolls not I've made. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting should, irrational. Should I be tied down for this? Try and stay so focused. So I don't flail around? The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. 
Ooh, uh, draw on my willpower. Ooh, from safeguard shield and wisdom proficiency. What's safeguard shield? Um, oh, uh, my artifact. Okay, focus on the present. Now I have excellent willpower as a paladin. Oh, the safeguard shield. Why do I have that equipped? Give me uh, elixir of heroes. No, I just want. I just want guidance. Oh, it's only a roll ten. Oh my god, no. Heck yeah. Dark holes bite at the edges of your vision, but the void cannot draw you in. I look so the good. Spasms seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, <sighs> as if it means to hollow out your no, skull. No, don't do that. Oh, drown the tadpole out by focusing on a tune. Wall off your mind from the psionic seizure. Let's see, we have three, one, one, one D, four, three. One, 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 D, four, three. I think this would be more of it. Resist the panic from within. Like, more of a willpower thing. What else? Could I add less from me? I think it is. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Blah, 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 blah. You know what? Sure, I very rarely use bless. Oh, gal. Hey. <laughs> The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. Oh, please don't. More power than you have ever I felt I feel like my before. brain's gonna explode. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. <gasps> what? The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. What did he? Omelum, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Did I do it wrong? Oh, maybe I did it wrong. I thought I was supposed to focus and like resist, you know? Like I thought the resisting was part of the focusing. Maybe it wasn't. Oh man. Felt it grow inside me. There's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. Uh. So I went through all this, and the tadpole still lodged in my brain. Indeed. Although I may have another solution. No. What? Albeit a temporary. This one, one. didn't work. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, mm. but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I'm doing good. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? I don't want to take his ring of, of mind, whatever, mind protection, because, like, for one thing, I don't want him as an individual, or it as an individual, to get, um, like, taken over by an elder brain, because that sucks. It's obviously worked really hard to be away from that. Um, but also, I don't want an illithid who's nice to people all of a sudden, like, turn evil, you know, uh, because it was noticed. No, I, um... Why didn't you mention the ring before? Well, because it's what it's using to keep itself safe. Because removal seemed preferable to negation. That's true, also. And I must admit, I was curious to study the tadpole myself. I feel like I did it wrong. Uh, I don't want the power, but I, um... But I will deal with what I've got. A bold strategy. 
It is not many that can defeat their own minds. I'm hopeful. If you require it on another occasion, merely ask. I don't think I have anything worth his safety. What do I have never seen anything like it, Blur. Resistance less aspect of the elk, rapport spores. I I haven't really done anything with it. Like I don't see any effects happening. And I haven't been using the tadpole very much in this game. I think I'll actually pick up the pouch so I can use it to organize things eventually. Not right now. Because I'm not a maniac. Um, what do we have? Oh, so I can't complete it? Well, I just... I said no, I don't want it. I don't want it. Should I get a ring of mind shielding? I don't want... I, no, I don't want it. Not because of the power, which is what the game will probably think, but because I don't want to rip put... Put... put this guy at risk. Amelium. Amelium. Well... I... do believe... That we have done everything in the main area that I know of, which admittedly isn't maybe a lot, but are we all okay? We're all here. Oh wait, wrong one. Jeez, I wanted the. Oh, that must be the basement. I want. Do I have to go to the beach? Yes, I do apparently have to go to the beach and then take the boat over. But I thought... Grim... Okay, I was like, wait a second, I just can't see it on the map, so that confused me. Grim Forge. Just teleporting all over the place. I left people alive here. This was where I turned. Um, I believe, was it this room over here? I believe so. Oh, we have the Harper stash. And maybe something over here? Let's make sure. Look at that beam, beam of light. It just means no sneak seeing. No sneak sees for us. Although to be very fair, I should probably do a full rest before we try to go anywhere. Wild. What's this? Was that accessible via upstairs? Whatever that is? I don't know if I've actually been upstairs. Oh, no, it wasn't. We went in there, I remember. Um, I don't remember how we got upstairs. Is everybody gone? I think everybody's gone. Oh, because we defeated them, I guess. Okay. Well, interesting. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Harper. That's a Harper symbol. Mm -hmm. Looks like the place the Dark Justicia's letter mentioned. But where's the stash? Ha 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 Oh no! Oh, it's my 
my first mimic chest. Oh no! Oh no! It's a mimic! Oh no! Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're surprised. Some monster hiding in plain sight. I, I rolled, like, I rolled, what did I roll? I rolled. I succeeded on an investigation check, but I failed at the perception check? I, that was wild to me. Uh, let's just, uh, sure. How much health is it at? 58? Okay. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of them? That was not what I thought was gonna, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, let's summon Spirit Guardians Radiant. Let's see. Acid Immunity. So we'll just do Radiant. Here, go down there and help out. How bad? Oh, jeez. Count on me. Ooh, so she can have aspect of the elk active while she has rage bear heart on. I am big fan. Big fan. Did it save on? Oh, being silenced from the from the sword. That's right. Gross. That's disgusting. These things. These. I was like, oh my gosh, with the eyeballs in it. Just look at it. It's just all mouth. That's so disgusting. That's so disgusting. Gross. Ooh. Will that get? I don't think I, I don't know if I want to chuck it. I can, but I don't know if I want to. Ugh, that's rough. Okay. Oh, we should give these to Karlak because uh, she can throw these things. Nice. Oh my gosh, Karlak is so good at this video game. Spirit weapon is not another fight. Let's go. Oh no, I just want to hit it. Yeah. Wondrous gloves. Your armor class increases by one. Oh. In addition, if you have bardic inspiration. Eh. <laughs> I do know from what I remember in the promotional material, I just remembered um, when the cutscene happened and then I forgot to bring it up, but um, there's, a, there's a guy, I think it's in Act 2 though, that pops out of a mimic chest, he's, and he gets to be a friend, potentially a lover, I think. I'm ready. On my way. Uh. Gods, it's hot in here. Oh my 
gosh, Karlak. There's so much. What might be worth a look? Oh, that over there. Is that a book? A toy chest. Open up. <clears throat> Nothing in there. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Where? Oh, uh, disarm. Hmm. I believe no it's twist. actually this woman. Her name is Ah, whose name escapes me. Shadowheart. Yikes. Okay, we try again. We try again. Oh, we don't. We don't try again. We just tank it. We just eat that right, right in the face. No time to rest. Oh, uh, here you because we're gonna be One sleeping leave. soon. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. My first mimic. I'm so excited. Ooh, the scroll of evidence. Read to the Emerald Enclave and those deemed worthy to see this record. Greeting from those who harp. What a dumb epitaph. I don't know if that was the right word, but similar. Know ye that the one known as Kethric Thorn, Paladin of Shar, is guilty of crimes against body and spirit. They include, but are not limited to, murder, slavery, and desecration of temples most holy. Let our intent be known, an alliance with the har between the Harpers and the Emerald Enclave. United, we may end Thorm's reign of terror. The High Harpers eagerly await your good word. Um, we saw the murals that, that were dedicated to this. Well. A toy chest and some mimics. All hiding an actual real chest. I actually didn't mean to pick up the rib cage, but okay. Is that everything except for maybe the second floor, which you know, at this point, I'm just not. Unless I see a ladder for it in the immediate vicinity. Isn't there one on this side, maybe? Oh, this is all new stuff, maybe. What's inside? This is the absolute. Oh, we got up there, I remember. Because, I think from a different area, though. It's a little weird that everybody's gone. Well, I almost feel like I shouldn't be like... I shouldn't keep the episode going when it's like halfway through, maybe more? And we're gonna go to whatever is needing to be done over here. No, but first we're gonna go to bed. I don't, we probably don't need to necessarily, but I just, I want to be fresh before whatever new hellscape opens up before us. I'm kind of vibing with this squad. I was maybe gonna take, uh... Asterion back, but oh, but if we keep going, I should probably bring Will. Oh my gosh. Um, I also need. Gosh dang it. I oh, think I this Gale. No, Carlac has it. Can you cast it on me? No, you can only cast it on yourself. Um, I'm very sad. Let's see if Gale. Lost in thought. Has any. Hmm. Potion of animals. Oh, I have six. Okay. Let's go, bud. What's up? Mm, I want to have a word. The dog is unable to speak <gasps> oh! through the small bag he holds in his He's mouth. He's such a good boy. What have you got there, bud? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Pristine. All I know is I thought of you when I saw He's it. He's so cute. And the whoever voiced him did. It's perfect. You're a good boy. I do pet him off screen. I pet him like two minutes ago when I got into camp. I just usually edit it out. Because if nobody else has anything to say, I just pet him and carry on my way. Pristine. 
Well, they will be better than what I've got equipped, I guess. These are just like camp shoes. Protects the toes from air and spires. These look, these look like water shoes. I want Will's opinion on what we're about to go up against as a wizard, but I want Will there in case we have stuff to do with his dad. Battleheart's been useful though, but What's next? I think I will have to What to do? I think I will have to leave Shadowheart behind. But no, because we've got the Selenite Temple stuff going on. So maybe it's actually better to leave Gale behind. And bring Will. Just Dang what I need. And I should bring Asterion with me, but I'm like, now I'm trying to just do like lore stuff. Okay, I'm going with the uh, with the OG squad into this. Karlak's not here for the lore. Karlak's here because I love her. And I can't imagine playing this without her. Um, Will is here for the lore. Gail is here because I really am curious if he's got anything to say about this mysterious shroud as a wizard. Shadowheart would be a good one for it too, but at some point you just gotta decide that sometimes you're not gonna get lore from certain characters. That's for other playthroughs <laughs> to deal with. Um, is that like a lava slug over there? No, okay, I was like, whoa. Um, there's lava slugs in Divinity too. But yeah, I think I will actually go ahead and call it here. Uh, because it's getting late and it's gonna be a weird time to start going off into a new adventure so hopefully this works out I hope I, I do want to discover the history of Prince Orpheus really bad um, but it's it's in the personal quest which I find interesting by the way it's not in um, Shadow Cursed Lands it's not in the Underdark it is specifically in personal quest which means it's going to, it's not even I thought it would be maybe with um Lizelle. Um, but it is not. It's tied to you, so. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.